Welcome back to the Closest Bear Today Show. Today is FOMC Day, Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Once again, the monthly candles red on Bitcoin, the weekly candles red, the quarterly candles red, the dailies red, the four hours red, and the one hours red. And I am in a an 82% profit trade right now to the downside after having given my community a VIP alert uh letting them know about how to enter a short and during this video over yonder letting maybe, them, so a 10 minute IPs. video I haven't made a so explaining that this could be a trade that you hold on until 25k and explaining how to not get stopped out even though this would have been their second attempt i actually i i got to, i closed mine in profit and then re-entered uh and I re-entered overnight in a way I shouldn't have, and therefore I only am in a, like one twentieth of a of a normal size trade. But it's almost it's almost doubled <laughs> uh, from my entry just waking up uh, on high high leverage on 50x. You're, you you're not supposed to do that, so that's why I'm in one twentieth. Just you know, because I closed my trade and I knew it was going to do a little higher. I thought had the suspicions it was going to make a uh, a nice beautiful lower high exactly at the perfect wick and. It went a little above that wick, but uh, and then it screamed down. So um, in that alert that I gave, uh, the first trade setup I've given in quite a while. I know you've heard enough about me, me being sick, but I wasn't trading very much specifically uh, while my brain was getting accustomed to not drinking vodka every day. Uh, and again, a year, year sobriety. Uh, I'm uh, 371 days sober now. Uh, so happy sobriety birthday to me as of April 27th. Um, but for anybody who drinks fairly regularly, even if you're not a raging alcoholic drinking vodka at 10 AM, like I was, uh, just to stay normal, that stuff messes you up. And it took me an entire year after quitting. I actually started feeling better almost exactly one year after. Whew, rough road, rough road. And still, right now I am just sweating and I feel like a woman in menopause. Uh, Cause it's pretty soon I'm gonna be freezing and I'm gonna have to turn my heater back on, uh, blasting a propane heater right next to me. Oh, my body's just not in homeostasis. Anyway, the whole idea of that video was um, 25K big drop uh, potentially uh, if we don't get a bounce from the six month established uh, bottom of the point of control. But uh, that's an, a 12% raw drop from current price, but from exactly where we're entering. Uh, it would be about a 13% drop and on leverage, you know, even 5X, that's still about a um, still 65% trade uh, on low leverage. All right. So right now, everything is red. We're going to the FOMC. So what does this mean? This means that this, this might be the first time we get monodirectional volatility outside of the first five minutes, like two, like two, like uh, two o'clock to two o five. It'll probably spike up, get everybody out of shorts. This, this might be a Z shape. Um, that's a little different. So in this, I let them know, hey, the reason I closed my short, uh, because I expect FOMC to bring the US 500, oops, to bring the US 500, if that is on here. Where's the US 500 picture? So we know what we're staring at, Tim Moteo. Here we go, here we go. Maybe I don't have it. All right, well, this is the US 500, and I thought I had it all labeled, but whatever. And I'm going to slow slap my origin lines on. Haven't used them for quite a while. Like make myself small here. <clears throat> I only have a couple more minutes, but here's what I'm watching out for today. Um, I'm definitely looking at the US 500 because that's what leads Bitcoin. You can literally just type in US 500. Uh, oops, I actually need that there. And, uh, and then press enter on trading view. So I uh, to close that short with this in mind. And this is where I drew that back over here um, saying, hey, in the future, the FOMC will be exactly here. That might be the lower high, but maybe before FOMC, it's going to spike up, uh, take out the liquidity above this local zone here, uh, just like how I was $32, $31.80 cents off or what, even though Bitcoin doesn't trade to the penny, whatever. According to trading view, it does, but um, Anyway, so th this is the same kind of idea, that same zone that's just kind of eyeballing where uh, where algorithms like to seek liquidity. And if you were to put on one of those liquidity heat maps or order book heat maps, those are the thing I feel 
I, I just have a knack for seeing where that is without using those indicators, right? So my journey as a YouTuber, I've gone from indicator heavy to, I don't know, I just, I can, I don't know, like I can see relative strength and because I've stared at price so much, I can, I don't know, I can just tell. Um, and I can tell when I'll be wrong too. I know the, ex I, I seem to have a good idea of also knowing when to flip sides and quickly flipping uh, in the event that trade's not going my way. So here we go. Um, this is what I would be looking at if I were you, um, US 500 and Bitcoin. Um, so I would look at Bitcoin definitely like this because if FOMC rocks this up, even though this is a new four hour candle, but it, it, it opened right around the other one. So you're going to want these open lines because there is going to be a restriction on how these algos move Bitcoin. They do have a restriction of 10% volatility total, which could mean 5% <clears throat> up. That's only that's less than two and 5% down. But because everything's red, the quarter candle, the monthly candle, the weekly candle, the daily, the four hour and one hour, it's probably going to be more like 2% up, 8% down. I'm telling you. It has a strong chance of happening all today. Historically, FOMC is 10% volatility on the daily candle, wick high to wick low. It's oftentimes five and five. CPI oftentimes from the middle is four and four, wick high to wick low, right? So this is gonna be nasty. And if you don't wanna get scorched by this because you're trying to trade it, um, I would, you know, it's a good time not to, not to try to trade around 2 p.m. New York uh, or 8 p.m. Berlin and Paris and uh, 7 p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. London and uh, that would be 11 a.m. California today uh, on May 3rd. All right, 2023. So I mean, you, these lines are probably going to come in play because when they whip up Bitcoin potentially to a lower high like this, sometimes it meets it. I mean, maybe that's that is two o'clock. I don't know. Nope, that's tomorrow. So it would actually have to go faster than that. Uh, so if it hits that line. It'll go all so I, I could see Bitcoin going all the way up to there. So the first move being, yeah, about 2% up. See that? OK, so 8% down if this is where price is at 2 p.m., for example. So I'm going to have to zoom out. That's 25. Oh, my gosh, it might hit the bottom of this channel today, everybody. It might like if, if that's the play, if it's 2% up, 8% down. Because I don't think I've seen an FOMC have a day less than 8% on Bitcoin. <sighs> this could be the first day, could be something different, but I'm guessing it's less up and more down because of the, you know, because of those obvious reasons. Is there any strength in this chart? I mean, yeah, this chart actually does have permission to, I mean, I could see it breaking this uh, and going up to this wick right here. So typically if Bitcoin is following uh, and outperforming this, it'll do 4x this to the upside. So that would be two. <laughs> Look at that. See that it says 0.5. Okay, everything's aligning. So it might be it might be two percent up. Exactly. So it might. So here we go. So this is uh like and remember how precise. If I don't know if you watched my little podcast from yesterday or whatever, where I was addressing somebody being kind of a moderate dickhead and me responding like a moderate dickhead. Um, I don't always plan to make those podcasts like that, but that was the tone, and I just rolled with it, right? So um. I'm late for a VIP call uh, or no, a whole community call. Anyway, this is uh, what you should be looking at, looking out for. And then to the downside, I mean, you have a six month established channel here and uh, this is what's at stake. I mean, uh, so if it hit 25K today, oops, this is not the five minute chart. If this hit five or 25K today, for example, it would actually be a wick below this line here. 25, right? there a wick and then if it does wick it will come back up get rejected something like that so at at uh, at 4 p.m today uh price might be right here so this is my wick low suggestion this is where bitcoin price might be exactly at 4 p.m new york uh today if that is all uh if my assumptions are right the way I would be dead wrong in totally the wrong way is this. There is a possibility, and I want you to watch out for this one thing, and I'll let you let you off of here for this eight minute, nine minute video, um, or it's going to be eleven minutes. So, if so, a lot of times uh, price will float the wrong way on FOMC, okay, prior to two p.m. So this might be its version of float, an aggressive float, and then it spikes up heavily and then goes in the middle. So it's absolutely possible. All of this is taken out because this uh, on the one hour chart, this is the float down and then it spikes up. 
and it would hit something like this. It would hit it almost exactly. So I would do, uh, and again, this is bare naked price on the one hour chart if you wanna do this, right? So if my idea is the actual opposite of what happens, which FOMC, there's no rhyme or reason. These are banker algos. The banker algos are not always initiated, right? So uh, the actual target for this, if this is the float down and it spikes up, and it all happens today, have to happen a little faster, about like that. 29.2, let's see if that would be a 10% debt. No, that's only 4%. Ah, man. Okay, so if I'm totally dead wrong, I need you to watch out for this. It is possible that right at 2 p.m., it goes, it goes the first minute, 1% down, spikes up, hits 29.2, 29.2, yeah, around 29.2, and then lands in the middle like that. And then at 4 p.m., starts getting weak under that line and starts going back under the daily open. See how that's the daily? Boom. That shape right there is the how I would be absolutely wrong in the wrong direction. I kind of think it'll do the opposite. I think it will try to, at about 1.30 p.m. New York today, 30 minutes for FOMC, I think it's gonna, instead of float down, I think it's gonna float up and then do the bigger one and then go back into the middle, right? But it's FOMC banker, Al goes, you don't wanna really trade it right at 2 p.m. I don't know what's gonna happen, but these are my two best ideas and all the reasons why. That's your quick video, stay safe. It's FOMC, be freaking careful.